Hi, we're back here in the studio at SGC with Jen and Ben from Aries Electrical. Um, this one's just a quick one today, just to uh, finish off Jen and Ben's little visit to us here at Skullmore. Um We've got another one of these um, Google boards here, so I genuinely don't know. Scared. Yeah, I genuinely don't know what these questions are. But f for anyone watching who hasn't seen any of these kind of things before, um, these are things people have actually searched in a search engine. So they'd have, for example, gone onto Google and typed um, "do electricians," and then it will come up with whatever people have searched or are electricians or how much and it's just filling in the blanks so okay. these aren't ones i've wrote or we've wrote here at skarma these are people asking genuine questions so Intriguing. <laughs> if you could do the honors jen at the first one and you you can both answer it why electricians are important okay that's a that's a pretty that's serious a question very yeah. so why are you so important well wow, without us you've got no light in your life have you yeah. Yeah. There God go. said, make there be light. So we created <laughs> electricians, and and here we are. Yeah. Saving saving us all. From, That's the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They call us God's trade for a reason, you know. Yeah. Do they? I've never <laughs> never heard that before. I'm sure every person on site now is is like yeah, yeah. ginger one. <laughs> right. What's this next one? Why electricians are scared of brooms? Why are electricians? Why? I'm not. I started on the brooms. What's a broom? Yeah. I started on the brooms. What's a broom? Okay, it's a brush. A brush? Yeah. Clean. What's what's that for? It, it's that thing that you hand to me. Right, okay. <laughs> you have to show me how to use that because I've not... Okay. I don't know what that is. Yeah, there's probably a lot, a lot of... because he's spoiled with his Hilti Hoover. There's yeah, a lot of plumbers and plasterers just sort of saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Little sparky droppings everywhere. <laughs> It's usually money, fifty pound notes, isn't it? That's oh. what it is. That's what we use in the toilet. Yeah. Flipping wish. So what's, what's this next one? Sorry, I'm gonna have to pull this back a bit. Why electricians' courses so long? Why are they so long? I think some of them aren't long enough. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're long because there's a lot to learn. Yeah, it is. There's a. Uh, yeah, there's a lot. There's a, there's a lot because there's a lot there's not, without going into it, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, and like you say, it's, I suppose it's for the best, isn't it? You don't yeah. want it to be too quick, too Definitely. soon. You're, you're learning a lot of important things. You want your things. family to be safe in your house, then you need to have someone who's competent. And that's why electricians are important. Yeah. Exactly. Very go. responsible answer there. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Why electricians use math? Do they? <laughs> <laughs> Use a calculator. I use Ben. Yeah, I use software. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we we use math to uh, just make sure that when so we're running cables, for example, you know, we know that that cable can take the voltage and the amps that we're going to pull on that cable. So to make sure that we're not starting any fires, you know, that's that's make sure your switches aren't tripping. Yeah, I'd we... also like to add to that. There are there are apps and books yeah. and things like that. will have all your equations. We've got on our Skullmore app. There's a toolkit app. So it'll tell you can type in um, light calculators, zenith um, values, all sorts of. Yeah. I'm going to be downloading things. that because that is fantastic. Yeah. Because I've got about five different apps that do different calculations, and I'll do like I don't just trust it as well, though. So I'll do the calculation myself, get my books out and dust them <laughs> off, and do the yeah. calculation. But then I'll run it through the apps and my, so my software that I have just to check that things are all right. You know, especially for the bigger run stuff when we're running in. You know, big 120 mil armors for supplies and stuff like that for the shopping centers and things that we've done work in. So that's why we use math anyway. There you go. Right Ready? then, what we got? Oh God, I can already see this one. Why electricians are so expensive. First of all, before you answer this, this isn't, this isn't great English, isn't it? Shouldn't it be why are? Yeah. But okay, anyway, so why electricians are so expensive? I pay peanuts, get monkeys. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Pay me 50 pound a day and I'll Use a broom. <laughs> yeah, you pay £100 a day and she might use a broom and a, and a uh, dustpan as well. You yeah, know? there you go. That's it. Um, expensive. I think you really need to think about personal experience. My builders used a electrician that was less than half the price of what we did it at cost. Yeah. It was against regulations. It was fire hazardous. It was absolutely terrible. Yeah. So for me, I don't think you can put a price on it. Not if your house is safe. For me, materials, especially at the minute with, with what's going on in the world and what's happened with COVID and everything else, materials have gone through the roof. Like when I, come, when I started, you were buying drums of 2.5 mil um, twin and earth for 100 metres. 
for like 40, 45 pounds and you're paying 65 plus fat now. Yeah. You know, and that's just within, you know, a few years. So, you know, materials are going through the roof. The fact that wholesalers can't even put a um, more than a two or three day um, price on their quotes for armoured cable because the fluctuation in copper at the minute is so vast, you can't keep up with it. Yeah. So we're having to put like a margin on our materials for, to, to be able to, you know, withhold the, uh, sorry, be able to, um, you know, c commit to a quote. Otherwise, yeah. You know. Plus, I mean, Rolexes and caviar and yeah. expensive cars. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, you know, can't you just you, they, them things cost money, don't they? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. you want to you want to do good. You need to roll up in a nice rolls. Okay. Why electricians don't like other trades? <laughs> <laughs> so do you, how, yeah, how do you feel about other trades? I don't know, actually, because we have quite... Everyone we work with, We've been quite lucky, we, we? Yeah, we get on with quite well and we've had a good work. I've had it before where... But... If, I think it's down to your preconceived opinions of, of people. I've had it where muckslingers, otherwise known as plasterers, will come along and... Fill your boxes in. No, they won't just fill the boxes in and not empty them out so we can't fit sockets they'll where my fuse board's meant to be we'll have all the cables come through ready to connect in and they'll come through and they'll snip the whole lot off and to me that's like mental i don't even know how you got the the minerals to do that you know so yeah. but this was what happens and that's where people fall out on site luckily we as a company and individuals ourselves even not well, even when i've not been working for myself working for somebody else try to treat everyone fairly on site yeah and you you treat, do something nice for somebody and they'll, they'll, they'll yeah. do you a favour yeah. and they'll do it back. I think know? a lot of the times it is just friendly banter, isn't it, yeah, between, yeah, yeah. between trades. Yeah, yeah. It might be something to do with yeah. that broom thing. I don't know if you call them mudslingers, though, whether that's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not a politically correct term. That's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's the next one? Why electricians don't wear rings? Don't wear rings. It's dangerous. And, in my experience, I don't wear my wedding ring because... Um, I like people to think I'm single. No, I'm joking. I don't wear my wedding ring because I forget to put it back on, but also because it actually gets in the way when I'm working. It does, and it rubs and stuff like that. And when you're getting it absolutely filthy, it's, it's just pointless. I've got pointless. A, another reason. So, yeah. so I'm That's not married, so I reason. don't have a ring to wear just yeah. yet. Happening next year, so... But I have to jump on your point there, yeah. though, Jen. I genuinely do know some trades people that don't wear rings because they want to, they want to appear single to, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, lonely, that's not, lonely not just trades people, no, there's loads of others yeah. as well. Yeah, just for no, my I'm not, saying, I'm not saying that's a good thing. <laughs> just for my husband's benefit, I do introduce myself. I'm like, hi, I'm Jen and I'm married, like every time. Every, every single time, time yeah. hi, I'm Jen and I'm married. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I actually know someone who degloved their finger yeah. and lost their finger um, in work. Wow. Got it caught in some uni strut. I don't know how. And read to rip it out, and he completely degloved his finger with his uh, wedding ring. So, Ooh. and nearly actually died when the um, gangrene or whatever you call it yeah. got set. So, yeah, nice. I'll be having a nice rubber ring. So yeah, for, for next yeah. year when we get there's married. There's some genuine safety reasons behind yeah. yeah. that. Yeah. So it might be yeah. worth sticking with that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's the next one we've got here? Why electricians think they are superior? I'll let you answer that one. <laughs> I don't know because we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. I don't think we're superior. I think every trade, uh, you have good electricians and bad electricians. You have good plasterers and bad plasterers. Yeah. Um, it's down to you as an individual. You know. It's a very humble answer. Yeah. Yeah. It's not I know some people are sitting there others. thinking, "No, I'm no, the best." But, no, no. Yeah. electricians, right? We we have as a, as a, as a plasterer, for example. I keep going to plasterers because they're easy to pick on. Um, <laughs> You know, they, they have their their mud spreader and they're happy, you know what I mean? So but they don't they won't kill someone if their work's wrong. I mean obviously if they're fixing in a, a board into the ceiling and as long as that's screwed in properly and they they do their job and it looks neat and tidy, but realistically that, that house is yeah. not gonna be any less safe if he does a bad job of getting that wall soft. Where if my connections are loose, you know, loose loose wires cause fires, the mm -hmm. famous saying within the trade like you know what I mean? That's that's something you've got to be switched on about. And you've got to know your job and you've got to be able to, you know, trust what you're doing and, and trust what you're doing is right. So we're superior because we're better at doing what we do. You know what I mean? Fair enough. <laughs> Last one. Last one. Why electricians 
line up screws. Line up screws. This was a couple actually, of reasons for this. I've got a really good reason. So I do it for two reasons. One, because aesthetically, I'm massive on aesthetics. You watch me doing spotlights and you'll get bored of, I'm like measuring, measure, measure, measure before I get everything in line. But when I turn it on, it looks banging. So aesthetics are massive for me. So I have mine vertical. Some have horizontal, mine's vertical. That's just what I felt to like, like the look of. I'm more of a horizontal man myself. Okay, all right. Well, I'm sure we can have a discussion about that with the cameras on. But um, <laughs> mine are all vertical. And the other reason I do it as well is for a warranty purpose. So if I come to a socket that we've previously fitted within our warranty period, it's the same. I've had a couple of times where one of your competitor's sockets have uh, stopped working and we've gone out to replace it, um, obviously free of charge under our warranty of, as a company. Um, but I've noticed the screws have been completely misaligned. So you know someone's been messing Yeah, someone's been messing with our work. So we can't put a warranty to that because it's been messed with. How do I know what's been done to that hasn't changed the way that, that that part works. So for me, it's warranty is the main concern really. Obviously aesthetics is important, but warranty is, is you can't be going putting void stickers on absolutely everything. So for me, it's, I know we've been to that and yourself and other people that have worked for me as well, all will do it bang on. And it's something I go around and check before I sign the job off. Cause I want to make sure we can sign it off and everything's back. Cause so when we come back, if there is an issue, you know, it's fair enough. so what's wrong with horizontal then? It's um, it's too much in the middle for me. Vertical is like, yeah. To be fair, I have to go and check because sometimes I do a bit of testing training with another electrician in Leicester and he likes all his horizontal. I actually went so, through your sockets yesterday and seen that it was horizontal. Yeah, <laughs> so I have to go around and check. I'm like, I forget which one I'm doing depending on who I'm working with. Yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Well, that, that, that brings us to the end of that yeah. one. Um, nice little... Carefree one, I like yeah. to think that yeah. one. So thank you both for coming. Yeah, no worries. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, hit the notification button below. You see more of Jen. You said Jen. <laughs> yeah. Jen. Ben. And Ben. <laughs> there you go. All right then. See you next time. <laughs>